ChatGPT can write mid-journey commands to generate beautiful art. These commands can be properly formatted so you can get that artwork in just three clicks. Not only can it generate slash imagine commands, but it can also make use of aspect ratio, multi-prompt, and even prefer options. If you want to get good at creating compelling AI art, ChatGPT is a tool that you are going to want to master. But make sure you watch to the end, because without the secret prompt that I'm going to share in this video, ChatGPT barely understands what AI art is and seems to be miles away from generating it. Hi. My name is Glibitry, and this channel is all about exploring the landscape of AI experiences. I have loved large language models well before ChatGPT came along. So much so that years ago, I was in awe with Parsi McParseface. And more recently, I bought an AI dungeon subscription before I ever played the game because that was the only way I could try GPT-3 at the time. I think the fact that ChatGPT has become such a phenomenon is evidence that these models are getting better and they are not going to stop. Since I learned about natural language processing in 2016, I've been testing out various models and learning what inputs lead to what outputs. And I believe that that understanding will be vital as these models start to revolutionize the world. The idea of prompt engineering is pretty simple at its core. Generative models like ChatGPT analyze the text in a prompt and determine what word or phrase is most likely to come next. If the prompt is clear and specific, the model can accurately predict the next word. It's going to do an excellent job when there is a pattern to follow, and the model can use the words and the format in the prompt to anticipate the output you are expecting. However, if the prompt is unclear, the model has to use its existing knowledge to make an educated guess. Admittedly, ChatGPT has a lot of knowledge because it was trained on right around 40 billion words. While that much information can sometimes result in accurate predictions, it can also lead to errors. When relying on existing knowledge, the model might generate results that are biased in some way or inaccurate because that's how it was in the training data. And in the case of Midjourney, ChatGPT was trained in 2021, so Midjourney documentation didn't even exist to train on. Prompt engineering is all about bridging the gap between what a model would generate by default and what you actually want the output to be. By providing the model with the information it needs to generate what you want, you can combine the strength of modern processing power with the ingenuity of your own humanity. Large language models are logical enough that when you teach it something with a clear explanation, it will learn that thing. And if you show it a format you like, the model will follow it. So what I have done for this video is explain the concept of coming up with mid-journey prompts and showed it that concept as well as the format those prompts come in. All with one simple, beautiful prompt. So now all you gotta do is paste in my secret prompt, boom, and click send. I asked it to create prefer options for epic fantasy landscapes. It creates three suffix here. One for Ariel, uh, another one, another one for kingdom, and the last one for natural. I'm using ChatGPT Plus here, so this goes a little faster for me than it might if you're using this for free, but ChatGPT is free and anyone can use it, so you can absolutely do this too. Let's take a quick look at these generations. It gave me a heading. It explained what the prompt was for. It is a little bit of ad copy. This is something I asked for. And then afterward, it gave me a code block with a prefer option set command in it. It looks pretty good at first glance. All of these seem pretty correct, but of course, first glance is not what we're looking for when we're looking for AI art. We wanna see if they're actually going to work. Probably the first test that we have to do is see if they paste into Midjourney. So let's click copy. Let's go over to Midjourney and paste. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna click this on the top and it all fills itself out. So prefer option set Arial, epic uh, fantasy landscape. Click enter and ta-da, our custom option has been set. We're gonna do the same thing with Kingdom. Beautiful. 
And lastly, we're gonna go and do that for natural. So now we have three prefer options. Of course, the next thing we wanna know is if they generate impressive looking art. Let's paste in part two of my secret little prompt here. Go back into ChatGPT, click paste, and send. Beautiful. Sure, here are five Imagine commands for generating artworks based on the styles you specified. Aerial Kingdom and Natural, incorporating the idea of fractals just like I asked for. This is something I did in my special note. It generates three, four, five commands, and these look pretty cool. I don't know how they're gonna turn out, so let's copy the first one, paste it into mid-journey, see does it look like an Imagine command? Click that click paste, or click enter, and a city, a floating city with fractal skylines, soaring airships, and epic adventures. That looks pretty good. We're gonna do it again four more times, paste these into mid-journey, and then I'm gonna come back when they're all generated so I can show them to you. Don't these look fantastic? The aerial mode and these floating islands look great. The fractal castles where the spires get smaller, but they, it just gets taller and all at the same time. Beautiful creation. And of course, I didn't do any of the prompt engineering for this. It was all chat GPT. We continue to look at the nature scenes. I just wanna go on a quest and explore those. It's fantastic. Again, with the aerial, just spectacular. And this kingdom is absolutely great. That bottom right one with the glowing crystal in the window, beautiful. And of course, once you've done that in ChatGPT, you are absolutely free to start creating even more in exact specifications as you want because it learned what you wanted. I could ask it to create a prefer option suffix for cute cartoon animals. Click send, and it knows exactly what I'm asking for. I could copy the code, paste it into mid-journey, and if I don't wanna call it cute cartoon, I can absolutely change it, but let's just leave it for now. It pastes beautifully, and now create five slash imagine commands for that new suffix. It's going to create a cartoon fox for me. Paste the fox. It's going to create a cartoon panda for me. Paste the panda. It's going to create a cartoon elephant for me. Paste the elephant, and it's faster than I am as I keep going, pasting hedgehog and all of these. It's gonna do some incredible things. And it's still in wallpaper mode because that's what I told it originally, but if I wanted a new uh, aspect ratio, I could just ask for it because I've taught it what the aspect ratio means rather than just what this format is. While all of these generate, these beautiful, beautiful cartoons, I bet you're ready to revolutionize your AI art game. Well, it is my pleasure to announce a brand new way for you to support the channel and get this prompt at the same time. If you go to patreon.com slash hitting the like button, <laughs> I bet I got some of you. Yeah, so hit like for the YouTube algorithm and here is the prompt. I'm also gonna put it in Pastebin, just like I did in my last video, absolutely free for anyone who wants to try it. If we just look through these, you see I've given examples for what the prompt should look like, what the format is, examples for the prefer option suffix, and then I basically told it what I want. You could just change this last line and, and get, the, get the suffixes that you are actually looking for. Next. Once those are generated, I just, I had another little prompt here which explained how to create slash imagine commands. It goes into what your scene is with traits, lighting, mood, and worked specifically for landscapes. You might need to reformat it a little bit if you're doing something else, but again, this is teaching the AI how to create slash imagine commands so that it can do it itself. And afterwards, you can do absolutely anything with these commands, and I truly believe the sky is the limit. But if you're still not sure how these prompts work and why you might use a slash prefer option in the first place, I absolutely recommend you check out this video right now.
I'll see you there.